In the previous lessons, we've made a new page to show the blog post or detail of the post. In this video, we'll make improvement to make it better. But before going any further, I want to show you about parameter model injection. So let's go back to editor. Let's take a look at this line. No problem with this line. But in Laravel, we could make it more compact by inject a model to parameter like this. Let's try. Here we get same result. I also want to show you the missing piece of this blog post. Go to phpMyAdmin, pay attention to this data. The value a published at is null. This means it should be draft and here the ID is 5. What happens if we try enter it in the blog post? It turns out that it can be read. Let's try another test. Its publication date is future date. When I'm recording, it's in July. Here the ID is 10. Let's try enter here. And we can also read this post. To fix this issue is very straightforward. Let's go back to our editor and undo the change. If you remember, we have made a scope called published. This scope is used to filter the post which publication date is less than or equal the current time. The post which publication date is null will also not be displayed. So here, let's call that scope. And let's see the change. Now we got error. This is an expected error. And we'll custom this error page in the upcoming video. Okay, now let's change the post with ID for it again. And instead of using ID, let's change it to slug like this. This will make the post URL is CEO friendly. Maybe there are several methods that we can do. For this time, I will use explicit model binding. Let's go back to our editor, open the root service provider file in the folder app provider. In the boot method, we can bind the URL parameter to certain models. We create binding using bind method from router object. Let's open the routes PSP file. And this is the parameter that will be associated. The second parameter is the closer that holds this route parameter. Then here we return an object from the post by slug captured from the parameter. Here we use first method because we just want to take an object only. Then in block controller, we replace the parameters by injecting the model here. Let's test. Take a slug and paste it here. Oops, I forgot to import post model namespace. Let's try again. Okay. Now let's test with not existent slug. And we got expected error. Let's undo the change. Okay, that's it. I will save the changes to the Git repository. Mm, I realized there is one thing that I almost forget. In a blog index, I should change the blog post link to the appropriate route. So here, I open the index index.blade.php file. I select post ID. and change it to post slug. Try again.
Okay, now the URL of every blog in the blog index has changed. We'll improve the content of this post in the next video.